Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today is the 26th of March, which means tomorrow being the 27th it is Mother's Day here in the UK. So on the 27th of March 2022, it is Mother's Day. And I wish my mum an absolutely amazing Mother's Day. And I thank her for all the wonderful things. Thank her for being so incredibly amazing at just absolutely everything. I cherish every single step she takes and every single thing she does. She is completely an, an angel in disguise, in a beautiful disguise in this life, and my mum means absolutely everything to me. She truly is a blessing to my life, she really is. She's there for me when I'm down, she's there for me when I'm ill, when I'm unwell, but she's also there for me, helping me along the way to success, and she's certainly there for me, sharing the smiles and the joy for when things turn out amazing in this life. This life is truly a blessing for me, I have to say. I have been gifted with the most amazing parents, the most amazing blessing, beautiful, beautiful mum. And you know what? This Mother's Day is truly, truly very special. It's special because I get to celebrate such an amazing, beautiful figure of my life, my mum. Now, this Mother's Day is very, very different for me because it is the first Mother's Day since we lost my nan, who I lost last year on the 31st of May. So it's very, very different for my mum. It's been really, really difficult so far, I have to admit, because every day I'm struggling without my nan and I'm thinking, I've not bought anything for my nan. I've not bought anything for my nan's Mother's Day gift. And I'm, and then it clicks into me and thinks, well, you can't, Bradley. You can't. Um, and it's really, really tough. And actually, we took my mum out for, me and my eldest brother took my mum out today for a lovely day. We, we done some sort of shopping. My mum bought all lots of lovely things, which my brother treated her to. I've done my gifts as a surprise for tomorrow. And we took my mum for a lovely meal. And she's seen my other two brothers uh, this afternoon with her grandchildren, my nieces and nephew. And it was, it was really, really very special. The house was full. It was lots of laughter. And it was, it was really, really special. We had some lovely pictures and it really, really was lovely. It really did bring a smile to my mum's face. But you know what? Even at dinner uh, today, when we took my mum out for dinner, there was a space free. There was a there was a there was a seat free. And do you know what? It really did hit home to me that now my life is missing this beautiful piece. It's missing my nan. And at the table today, I thought to myself, do you know what? That place setting missing is nan. It's nan. It's the it's almost, it's almost like that void in my life which is gone, that space in my heart which is, which is not there. And of course it will always be there, my nan is always with me and she guides me in this life and, and I, and I take great strength from that. I'm so proud to be able to call my nan, my nan in this life. And at 95 I feel blessed that when I lost my nan at that age, I was cherished to have such a wonderful and incredible roller coaster of a time with her and so many precious and cherished memories. I still say that 95 and gone far too soon, and it's very, very hard for me, my mum, and everybody who loved her. Very, very, very hard, each day. Mother's Day means so many things to many people, can't it? It can be a difficult time for some. Of course, Mother's Day, like me and my mum this year, or my mum and I, rather, this year, it's a, it's a difficult, it's a difficult absence. My nan not being here is really, really tough. It really is. I try to think about how blessed I was for my nan to have her for so long, and I know she'd want me to have a have a really, really great, fulfilling life. But I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't sad and I didn't find myself in tears. To be quite honest with you, most days, like even for a couple of moments, it really, really is because it's great sadness that I don't have that, that wonderful figure in my life now. I know my nan, bless her heart, looks down on me from above and she always said that I may never see you, see you grow up, my love, and I think the world of you. And so it started, bless her, that, um, I may never see you grow up, my love, and I think the world of you, but I'll always be with you and I'll always be looking down on you. And you'll be the one in this family to go far, my love. And do you know what? I always hold that close and I hold that dear that she'll always be looking down on me and she'll always be with me. And it brings great comfort to me. It really does. When I look at my mum, I see my nan. And they were best friends. They are my best friends, to be quite honest with you. I've been blessed with parents and my father is as well. But my mum and my nan, I'm just so, there are no words for what the two of them bring to my life. This life is a blessing, and I always say that none of us are promised a tomorrow, and if we're blessed with another, then cover it with both hands and run with it. This Mother's Day means so much to a lot of people. To me, 
It means I've got my incredible mum in my life. I've got all those wonderful, wonderful things in my life which my mum brings. She brings me happiness. She brings me all those wonderful moments when I'm sad, when I'm down. Mum knows exactly how to get me through things. She knows exactly how to support me and the right thing to say when I'm having a moment when I just don't think I can go ahead anymore in this life. When I'm down or when I'm ecstatic and I'm making those decisions which will have such an implication. What was that word, Bradley? So have such an implication on my life. Whether it be new jobs, whether it be new things, whether it be new steps in this life, all those incredible, exciting things I want to share them with mum, and she's there all the way. She makes me smile, and she always, always cheers me up. Her sense of humour is wicked and absolutely incredible. She is the coolest lady I know, and she brings a smile to my face every single day. I am blessed to see my mum every single day. She is a very, very glamorous lady, a film star. And truly, it makes me smile just when I get to see my mum's face, when she smiles and she says to me good morning, or when I, or when she says all these sort of small innuendos which, innuendos which get me through in life. It really does make me feel immensely proud that she's my mum, and I'm immensely proud and blessed that I get to call her mum. This life is truly, truly special, and do you know what? It doesn't just mean to say that your mum has to be your biological mum, because there are people out there who will get to have these amazing bonds with people who are mums or just like mums. There are people out there who are blessed with these incredible figures in their life and through blood and through biologic sort of connection, they may not necessarily be your mum through birth, but they mean just the same. So to you out there, do you know what? This life is a true blessing and for those figures, amazing. And I feel immense, my heart just it fills with joy for you. Because do you know what Mother's Day is so, so special? It's like you can know somebody and you can love somebody, but it will never be like that immense connection you have with those figures in our lives as mum, as nan, as grandma. Do you know what I mean? Those 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 connections in life, we don't make very many of them at all. And most of all, the connection of mum is just something you only ever get once. And for those amazing, amazing relationships where sadly something happens and they don't have their mum and then they have somebody like their mum or they look to somebody as their mum. Amazing. And what a blessing. And you know what? God bless you. God bless you both. Now, the absence of my nan this year, it really does make me feel sad. It makes me feel really heavy in the heart. Um, having my nan in my life is a blessing. It really, it really was a blessing to have my nan every single day of my life. It really was. I've seen her often and I cherished every single moment. Every time I said goodbye to her, I gave her a hug, I kissed her on her cheek. And sadly, in the end, in the, in the last years of my life, of, of my nan's life, she had Alzheimer's. But do you know what? She made me smile with the strength, the determination, the tenacity to keep going in this life, to literally hold two fingers up to Alzheimer's and say, do you know what? This is me, this is my life, and you're not going to rob me of it. And yes, things were tough at times and they were hard. But myself and my mum stood either side of my nan, and we took her hand, and do you know what? We kept we kept fighting through. My nan was as strong as an ox, she truly was. So yes, Mother's Day, in a moment, has a tear in my eye and a bit of a broken heart for me. But do you know what? I smile because of all the wonderful times which I had with my mum and my nan. And I wish with all my heart that I could go back and I could have them all over again. I really, really do. But I know this life doesn't work that way. And I know I've been truly blessed and it's not to be greedy. <laughs> There's my mum asking if I want to <laughs> bear with me a moment. I'm back. All those little, small, wonderful things which my mum just, <laughs> hopefully she just came out of the bath and she wanted to know if I wanted to go in the bathroom and she was actually going to run the bath for me, which, bless her heart, <laughs> it just sums up my mum, to be honest with you, all those amazing little tiny things which mean so much in this life. Um, I am blessed, I truly am, and I truly hope that you are, and I hope you have an amazing uh, Mother's Day with your mum. It doesn't necessarily have to be your mum, does it? It can be your grandma, your nan, your aunt. It can be somebody who has that truth true special impact on your life. It truly does. That bond, and if you're blessed to have that truly, truly treasured bond as what I have with my mum and what I have with my nan, who is now in heaven, then 
how amazing, and a, a huge smile, and you know what, my heart just fills and bursts with joy for you, because it truly is very, very special. Mother's Day is incredible. I've been blessed with my best friend, my amazing, amazing mum, and my treasured, treasured nan, and you know what, I've got a really wonderful grandma as well, my dad's, my dad's mum too. So this life has been truly a blessing to me, and on this Mother's Day, I wish you a very, very special Mother's Day. And mum, if you're watching this, God bless you. I love you so, so, so much. All the world, all, all the world wouldn't be enough for you. And do you know what? I'm speechless. You mean so much to me. You're an angel in disguise and I absolutely love, love the bones of you. God bless you and I love you. And my nanny up above, I love you so much. God bless. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, I really hope you have a very, very special Mother's Day and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye now and God bless you.